Hey guys, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaTube. In the previous video, we learned an introduction to metabolism. If you did not watch the video, hit the i button on top right of this video to watch it. To watch the other topics of biochemistry and other subjects of pharmaceutical sciences, click on the links given right below this video. In this lesson, we will learn an overview of metabolism. Just as petrol or diesel is the fuel that powers automobiles, similarly, food is the fuel that is metabolized by the body to provide energy. Catabolism breaks down the carbohydrates, proteins and lipids in food into smaller molecules releasing energy to supply the body's needs. This process involves numerous catabolic pathways that can be organized into four stages. Stage 1 is the digestion. Stage 2 is the formation of acetyl-CoA. Stage 3 is the citric acid or tricarboxylic acid cycle. And stage 4 is the electron transport chain and oxidative phosphorylation. Stage 1 Digestion Digestion is the biochemical process by which food molecules through hydrolysis are broken down into simpler chemical units that can be used by cells for their metabolic needs. Simply, digestion is the process of breakdown of food material into small molecules. It entails the physical grinding, softening and mixing of food as well as enzyme-catalyzed hydrolysis of carbohydrates, proteins and fats. Digestion begins in the mouth, continues into the stomach and concludes in the small intestines. The hydrolysis of carbohydrates to monosaccharides begins with the amylase enzymes in the saliva and continues in the small intestines. Protein digestion begins in the stomach where acid denatures the protein and the protease pepsin begins to cleave the protein backbone into smaller polypeptides and amino acids. Digestion continues in the small intestines where trypsin and chemotrypsin further cleave the protein backbone to form amino acids. Triacylglycerols, the most common lipids, are first emulsified by bile acid secreted by the liver and then hydrolyzed to glycerol and fatty acids by lipase enzyme in the small intestines. Once these small molecules that is glucose, amino acids, glycerol or fatty acids are formed during digestion, they are each absorbed through the intestinal wall into the bloodstream and transported to other cells in the body. Some substances such as cellulose are not metabolized as they travel through the digestive tract. When these materials can't be absorbed, they pass into the large intestines and are excreted from the body. Stages 2 to 4 of Catabolism Once small molecules are formed, catabolism continues to break down each type of molecule to smaller units, releasing energy in the process. Stage 2 Formation of Acetyl-CoA The monosaccharides, amino acids, fatty acids and glycerol must now assimilate it into the pathways of energy metabolism. The two major pathways are glycolysis and the citric acid cycle. Sugars usually enter the glycolysis pathway in the form of glucose or fructose. They are eventually converted to acetyl-CoA which is a form that can be completely oxidized in the citric acid cycle. Amino groups are removed from the amino acids and the remaining carbon skeletons enter the catabolic processes at many steps. Fatty acids are converted to acetyl-CoA and enter the citric acid cycle in that form. Glycerol, which is produced by the hydrolysis of fats, enters energy metabolism via glycolysis. Stage 3 – The Citric Acid Cycle The citric acid cycle is based in the mitochondria. In this biochemical cycle, the acetyl groups of acetyl-CoA are oxidized to carbon dioxide. Some energy produced by this process is stored in the bonds of a nucleoside triphosphate and reduced coenzymes such as NADH, FADH2, etc. Stage 4 – The Electron Transport Chain and Oxidative Phosphorylation Within the mitochondria, the electron transport chain and oxidative phosphorylation produce ATP that is adenosine triphosphate, the primary energy carrying molecule in metabolic pathways. 
Oxygen combines with hydrogen ions and electrons from the reduced coenzymes to form water. The result of catabolism is that biomolecules are converted to carbon dioxide and water and energy is produced and stored in ATP molecules. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video. The different stages are an overview of metabolism. In the next lesson, we will learn about the history of glycolysis. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.